So let's add some conduit. I remember the good old days when Revit didn't even have conduit. But now with each new release, Revit seems to be adding more and more to the conduit library. To get started, I'm going to jump into Revit. In the project browser, under electrical, let's go to power, floor plans, and let's go down to level one. Let's zoom in on our electrical room. Let's select one of these two panels here. Notice that when we select the panel, we get these little grips. If you just hover over it, you can drag it. Or what you could do, if you right click on that grip, you can actually draw conduit from face. Click draw conduit from face. Now what's gonna happen is Revit's going to kind of give us an elevation of that face and it kind of shows it in a 3D view as well. So we can change the position of this conduit. Like instead of 11 and a half inches, I can type in six inches and push it down a little bit. Now, all we need to do is click on finish connection and Revit's gonna start drawing our conduit. So if we draw the conduit over this way, just a little bit, pick a point. Notice that our diameter is set for two inches or 51 millimeters. What I wanna do is let's change our elevation. Let's say 10 feet or 30, 48. That puts us right above our ceiling. Now, if we start drawing this conduit in this direction, pick a point like right about here, it's gonna give us a rise. Now we can just run our conduit up and out of this room, which is fine because we're above the ceiling. Hit escape a couple of times. Now, on our view control toolbar, let's set our detail level to fine. Excellent. We can do the same with this one. Let's select this panel. Let's make sure we zoom in, right click on that grip, Let's draw a conduit from face. The middle is fine. Let's click finish connection. Now we can kind of see the conduit. Instead of two inches, let's make it four inches or 102. We can draw it out this way a little bit. Then maybe this one goes underground. So for the middle elevation, let's make it minus six feet, which would be one eight two nine millimeters. Notice that it's out of our view range so we can't really see it. Notice we get a little icon that says we can't draw. So if we pick another point, now we go to a 3D view. Let's zoom into this area here. Let's make sure our detail level is set for fine. Revit can't model that because of the fact that the bend would be too big. So what we need to do is just grab that, pull it out a bit, right? Now, if we go back down to level one, if we right click on this icon and we draw a conduit, now the middle elevation could be minus six feet or minus 1829 millimeters. Now notice that you still can't see it because it's out of our view range but it's gonna actually put it in and see how it gave us that drop. If we go to a 3D view now, there it is. It's kind of in the middle of that room, but that's okay. Let's go back to level one floor plan. Notice that we can just draw a conduit as we please. We don't need to draw it off a panel. So I'll right click on this four inch conduit and create similar. I'll make the middle elevation 10 feet or 30, 49 millimeters. Pick a point here. I'm gonna pick a point here. And again, you can see that once it comes into position, Revit will let you draw it. But if it's too close, you need to move it up a little bit. Now Revit will let us draw in that conduit. Now, if we right click on this conduit here and create similar, I'm just gonna draw a conduit right off the middle of this one, model it down, Revit is gonna put in a giant junction box for us. Perfect. I'm gonna right click on this piece of conduit and create similar. And I'll model another one right about here, over to here, maybe down to here. Hit escape a couple times. Now, if we go to the systems tab and we click parallel conduits, we can hover over this piece of conduit hit tab, and then pick it. 
Notice that it's going to add those conduits. Go to a 3D view. Notice that it's just added another conduit off of that. So conduits are really easy to draw and it's pretty cool. Stop avoiding doing it.